Philharmonic bass players. Welcome to our third video lesson together. Um, today's lesson is going to be kind of a tutorial on how to play along with the backing track that um, you should be able to pull that up along with uh, the video and the documents. It should all be kind of in the same spot. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you haven't already, take a second to tune your bass and see if you need any rosin. So pause this video while you take care of that. And when you come back, let's take a look at this document together. So um, the title of it should say something like Seven Years, Video 3. And I chose this song because I remember Jemiah was talking about it a lot in class one day, and uh, I remember that you really liked it. So hopefully we're all having fun with this. Um, taking a look at this, um, look at Measure 26. Now that's the only part of this song that we haven't really worked on in these video lessons yet. So look at measure 26 and 27 and pause this video while you try playing those two measures on your own. Pause. And when you come back, uh, let's try playing it together. So play it along with me, measure 26 and 27. One, two, and three, and four. <laughs> Good job if you played that correctly. Um, now take a look at the very beginning. You'll notice that there are five measures of rest at the very beginning. Um, there's also a few other measures of just rest throughout this piece. So make sure that you're counting those rest measures really, really well. You've got to just say one, two, three, four to make sure you're getting through the whole thing, okay? Um, so if you'll look at this, the section um, measure five, Measure 6, actually, until measure 11 is that first section that we learned in the very first video together. That section, um, measure 14 until 22 is that section, second section that we learned in the second video. Um, and then starting at 22, you're kind of back to that uh, first section. And you got to be really careful because right from 21, we go straight into that other section. Um, so let's just practice that. Uh, let's practice measure 20, 21, 22, and 23 together. So those four bars starting at measure 20. And we start with a rest on beat one. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, it goes right into that next section. So you got to be really ready to make that jump from B flat to G. So try that actually just a couple times. Uh, try up bow on B flat and open G on down bow. B flat, G, B flat, G, B flat, G. Okay. How fast can you play it? Okay, and when you're done looking at this document, feel free to pause this video while you take another look through it. Um, I am going to play it for you along with the backing track, and I'm going to count along with it. Um, so why don't you just listen this time through and just see how it all sounds put together. Um, and then I'm going to play it again, and you can play along with me. Um, but there is also, like I said in the beginning of this video, a backing track uploaded with these documents. So once you've gotten through this video, you can, as many times as you like, pull up that backing track and play this sheet music along with the backing track. Another option is you can go on YouTube and type in Seven Years Karaoke, um, and it won't be exactly like it's written out uh, in this sheet music because it's a little different than the actual song itself. But you can always go on YouTube and search that and play along with that. Um, or even just play along with the actual song itself. And I know that there is an option on YouTube to slow down the video, so check that out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this and play along with it, so listen this time through.
All right, so I'm going to play that one more time so that you have a chance to play along with me without me babbling and talking the whole time. So here we go. So if you got all the way through that playing along with me, then really good job because that's pretty hard to do. So feel free to um, go back and play that section of the video as many times as you need to practice playing along with me. Uh, and then when you feel like you're ready, go to that backing track document and have this pa page pulled up um, and then try playing along with just the backing track. So it'll be all you on the melody. Um, and good luck with that. Uh, so your assignment for that is try recording yourself, if you can, um, try recording yourself playing along with the backing track and send it to me. All right. Happy playing. Bye, guys.